Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I want to give some thoughts on the PE exam. Now, uh, a little bit of background. I didn't study at all for this exam. I mean, I did put some hours in whenever I had time, but in general, I didn't really focus that much. I probably studied like 10 hours, 15 hours total in the last three months, which is not a lot. Uh, I want to give my thoughts on the exam though. I, I decided to take it just because, I mean, I had already paid for it. So I was like, well, might as well go and take it just to see how it is. Now, I'm gonna give you like four or five things that I noticed from the exam and my personal thoughts. Now, the first one is uh, you need to bring all your material. Uh, I took the civil structural, not the SE, the civil structural uh, regular exam. Uh, they give you a list of codes that they recommend to bring for the exam. You need to have all of them, all of them. Uh, you use all of them. Um, I was missing a, a masonry manual and there was like two problems that had the masonry that you needed that manual and I was like, damn it. Now on top of that, if you should bring like all your extra materials, like problems uh, and and just use, you know, general tips uh, that you can that you have. Uh, it's, it's nice to have like, a, I don't know, like a quick formulas of each topic. So for example, quick formulas of steel, quick formulas of concrete. Uh, that, that is very helpful too. So that's the first one. The second tip that I can give you is you need to tap everything. Uh, I'm, go I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even have time to tap a lot of my stuff, but I realized like if I had tapped like all the stuff that I had, it would have been much easier just to find everything and don't, don't have to be like uh, searching through every book. And you also need to know your books. Even if you don't memorize everything, you want to have a notion of where everything is located in all your books. That way, like, if they ask for a specific thing, you, you're not like looking around. Like there was this question that was like a very uh, specific thing about steel composition. And I remember I saw it in the sermon somewhere, the civil engineering reference somewhere, but I didn't remember. So I was there like, five or six minutes looking for this answer and that was like a one minute thing that if I had like remember like exactly that area like I would be like boom next, we'll move on to the next question uh, that's my second thing tap everything now the third thing uh, you don't necessarily have to arrive exactly at the at the, that time it's not like the FE that they will close the door if you are not there on time uh, here you have a little more leeway so for example, I got to the exam time like at seven and the exam was supposed to start at 7.15. The exam ended up starting like at 7.45 or something like that because there's a lot of people and they need to process all of the application. So, I mean, you can get there like 7.15. I mean, you don't want to risk it, of course, but that is something that you can do. Now, I'm gonna start the fourth thing that I want to give you is about the exam. Now, the morning portion is way easier than the afternoon portion. The morning portion is a lot like the, just like the fee. It's your general question, not very hard, uh, but you need to know what they're about, you, what they're asking. If you know where they are located, you're very good, you're good to go. Now the afternoon session is a total different beast. You need to know your crap. You need to know where things are located. These problems are problems that are not challenging, but they take some time, especially if you don't know where to look for. There was a bunch of problems, like three or four, that I was like, ah, I know I can solve this, but I need a specific code, a specific regulation from the IBC code, from the ASCE, uh, from the, I don't know, from the masonry, for the NDS, the TMS. And you need to know exactly where the the sign procedure is. So if you don't know where this is, like you're gonna like struggle a lot. So that's why you need to, like the afternoon, se the afternoon session is tough. And you need to know your stuff and you need to know where to look for what you want. Um, now my last tip is you need to manage your time very, collect, co co very correctly. You need to manage your time correctly. Uh, the exam, like you have time to do everything. Uh, like it's not like the FE that you're like running for minutes towards the end. They give you a pretty good amount to solve everything, but still it is Sometimes you, you are like stuck in one problem and if you take more than six, seven minutes, you just need to jump it and like go to the next one. 
because that will lead it. Like that's one thing that I think I did pretty good. I managed my time my time pretty 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 well. Towards the end, I had 10 minutes, so I could go back and like look at the problem that I wanted to double check. And I found some like so that was good for me. I also bring your food and you know try to rest. There are like 50 minutes in between uh, the morning session and the afternoon session. So be sure, be sure, like if you can grab like a, like just like, like just rest your eyes a little bit, eat in there, like don't walk too much, try to clear your your head, and remember the day before, try to be there early, try to have a good night's sleep, and the day before, don't read anything. Uh, those were my thoughts on like taking the P exam kind of in a Jolo mode. I don't think I'm gonna pass it. But I mean, even then, like it was a really good experience because now I know for sure that I can pass this exam. I just need to actually put the time to study. Uh, let me know what your experiences have been with the P exam or if you have any questions about the exam, how it is, which one do you recommend to take or anything else. Um, if you like this video, please like my channel, like my, <laughs> like my video and subscribe to my channel if you like it. All right, guys, have a good one.